you know how exciting it is for me as a volunteer to go down to the train station and meet these musicians who come from coast to coast in Canada. Oh, I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. The All Canadian Jazz Festival brings talent from right across the country. Brings it to Port Hope, where we can see some of the best stars and upcoming stars that this industry and this country is producing. I work professionally as a production manager and I also volunteer for the festival as a production manager. But this gives me an opportunity to give back to the community and it also lets me walk to work every day, which I absolutely enjoy. The great pleasure for me is knowing that although these are all Canadian musicians, we don't take a back seat to anybody on the terms of uh, international jazz because the players who come here have international careers. Somebody like Rob McConnell has won innumerable Grammy Awards and Rini Rosnes performs in Europe and with jazz at Lincoln Center with Wynton Marsalis. When you have an opportunity to see a musician like Rini Rosnes work with a, a string orchestra, it's just a unique musical event. As a, as a musician myself, you, you are trying to combine the the two worlds. Jazz is a very uh, interpretive medium, an improvisational uh, medium, and uh, you don't often see that combined with sort of the classical training of a string orchestra. Actually, you know what there? Cellos? Can you change your last note to D? When you combine her talent with that of somebody like Rick Wilkins, who did the arrangements, and see them sort of change uh, their interpretation of the music, change the music itself, it's just such a rare event, and a, an event that only occurs because of the efforts of this festival. Our black coffee panel on Sunday mornings brings together professionals from Canada's jazz community. In fact, in Canada, as a ratio, we're a very strong market. And in fact, we're the second strongest market in the world for jazz sales in France. At a festival like this, which is programmed with Canadian musicians from all over, I think it's a great way to meet each other too and, and to hear what is going on. There are lots of festivals all over the place, and I think that's, that's huge because it introduces jazz to a wide spectrum of people who maybe just pass by one year and then pass by a little more the second year, and the third year it gets better. So I think that's very important. Having a good community behind you is, is major. You know, say hello to anybody on the street and they smile at you and they're glad you're here. Nothing is warm and welcome, more warm and welcome for visitors than that. I find the devotion of young musicians so amazing. They're in it because they love the music and they must make this music. I coordinate the TD Canada Trust Young Jazz Showcase for the festival. I think it's great for TD Canada Trust to support the young people of uh, Canada. It, it gives them a good feeling about the bank and it gives us a good feeling to see what we're, what's coming forward in our future. From all across this country, we select the top young Canadian jazz musicians from high schools. They come together to perform right here in Port Hope. It's an opportunity not to be missed. Why don't you get out of town and come down in late September to our all-Canadian jazz festival in beautiful historic Port Hope. <laughs>